Hello everyone. We want to be working a bit on approximation. Right? It is an important part in terms of mathematics. So we want to do, do, be doing approximation. Um, what we want to do today is we want to work with approximation in terms of place value. And then later on what we are going to be doing is we're going to be working decimal place and then significant figures right? significant figure those are the three that are mostly used um, apart from others but that is what we're going to be working with today um, in terms of the place value chart or the place value rounding off to a certain place value the first thing that you need to know is the place value chart right the place value chart is a chart where you have um, the place value of each number going to the left and then going to the right right to the right we have decimals right and then to the right we have tenths and I'll put it right here tenths with a THS you have hundreds you have thousands you have ten thousands sorry this one is not thousands with the S but it is THS thousands with the THS then you have ten thousand right if you notice all of those no place values going on this side is going to e be ending with T H S right after 10,000 you have 100,000 and then we have continue going on on that side with where we will going where we will have millions then 10 million then 100 million and so on right but remember that every place value going on this side we have THS now notice something also that in when you go to this side of the decimal you don't have any ones or you don't have any units as to the other side reason for that is because here we don't have any whole number it is talking about a fraction so it is going to be out of 10 pieces out of 100 pieces out of thousand pieces out of ten thousand pieces so here we have fractions and there is no ones or units on the other side we have ones or units right so if you are being asked to round off to the units or to the ones place value you are be you're going to be talking about the first number that you have here right then you have tens and then notice ends with s ends with s on the other side ths 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 all the way right so here we have tens we continue with hundred then you have thousands then you have ten thousands hundred thousand and then we have millions then we have ten millions and so on and so on but i'll reach up to that point if you have additional numbers then you continue adding the rest right so what we want to do is we want to approximate to one of those place value of course you will be given a problem and let me write it down here it says approximate the following to the nearest and then you will have it in brackets so example we want to approximate Seven eight nine four to the nearest tens, right? Seven eight nine four to the nearest tens. Take a look at the number. We don't have any decimal. Once you don't have any decimal, your decimal is always in front of the number, but it is always going to be a in an imaginary decimal or in imaginary point there 
and the decimal point is on this side right here but we don't need to have that because we have whole numbers and all whole numbers the decimal point is going to be here and it's going to be point zero 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 but we don't need it right so first thing is identify where we have the tens position so find one find the number you're approximating right so which number am I approximating? A number that's given in brackets. In this case, it is telling you round off this number to the nearest tens position. Now the tens position is going to be decimal point, ones, and then tens. Tens is talking about the nine. So what I'll do is I quickly just, for my own sake, I will say I will box the nine. This is the number that I am approximating. So this nine might remain as a 9 or I will need to add 1 to approximate it right so let's see what's going to be the next step the next step is once you find that number that you're approximating which in this case is the tenth position you will look at the number that follows so which number follows it's the 4 so I will look at the number file. Let me just do a little arrow. So I am looking at the four, right? So once I figure out what the, what the number that follows is, then I apply the next one, the next step that we have here. It says, if the number is less than five, which means you have a zero, a one, a two, a three, four, right? Zero, one, two, three, or four. If you have any of those numbers, the number that you're approximated stays the same. So what we're going to do is we're taking a look at, a look at the number we found the one that are approximating. It's the 9. The number that follows is a 4. Now I apply this. If the number is less than 5, which is talking about the number 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, the number that you're approximating stays the same but if the number is greater than or equals to 5 right so if you have the number being greater than or equals to 5 which means you either have you have a 5 a 6 a 7 a 8 or a 9 5 6 7 8 or 9 one of those if you have a number that is one of those up here then you add one at four here so approximating the nine the number that follows is a four i see that the number that i have is a four here which is the number less than five so that numbers remain the same so that means when it says it remains the same it's just saying telling you that what we'll do is we we'll just say plus zero here right zero will not change anything so plus zero and then we see what happens now the numbers that follow once you have identified the one that you're approximating let's see the number you're approximating is nine every other number that follows after that if you had more numbers become zero so what we're going to do is bring down this four that becomes zero nine plus zero that is remains as nine bring down the eight bring down the seven so my answer is going to be seven thousand eight hundred and ninety i have approximated that number to the nearest tens right let's do another one example two let's say you have four five six point zero zero three nine and then we are being asked to approximate that number to the nearest thousands first thing is to identify or to find the number you're approximating what am i approximating which number am i approximating the thousands position the thousand position if you take a look at the ths is on this side of the decimal we have our decimal right here it's on that side 
let's identify it it's going to be tens hundreds thousands so we're talking about this tree this tree is then tree is going to either remain as tree or it's going to become four right because we're going to either add zero or add one to it now step two says look at the number that follows the number that follows is a nine right so the number that follows is a nine if that number is less than five meaning a zero a one a two a three or a five or a four it stays the same means you just add zero is it one of those no if the number is five or greater which means five six seven eight or nine is it one of those yes it's a nine so we will add one right so what you're going to be doing is the number that we are approximating we're going to say plus one we add but the num all the other numbers that follow after the one you're approximating will become zero so that nine is zero three plus one is four bring down your zero bring down the other the other zero bring down the six bring down the five bring down the four so my answer here is or approximately is approximately and i have to put the approximation sign because we're approximating is going to be four five six point zero zero four and that is what you have let's do another one let's say we have eight nine nine point nine nine and it is asking us to approximate this to the nearest units units means ones right so first thing that we need to do is identify the number i am approximating i am approximating the, the units position which is going to be the first nine before the decimal so it's talking about this one right so that is what i am approximating second step is to look at the number that follows the number that follows is a another nine if the number is less than five meaning the number is zero one two three or four the number will stay the same or you just add zero if the number is five or greater you will add one right five or greater which is five six seven eight or nine is it which one is it we have a nine because it's a nine we need to say plus one now it's addition right all the other numbers after the one you're approximating become zero so this nine becomes zero the other nine becomes zero i bring down my decimal so i will have point zero zero which i will not need to put that point and then we go to the other side nine plus one is 10 don't go and put 10 here it's normal addition if you get 10 you know that you should add the zero here or you put the zero there and you carry the one because you got 10 right and then you go back again 9 plus 1 10 again so bring down the zero carry the one 8 plus 1 that's going to be 9 so if you take a look at what my answer is going to be it is going to be approximately 900 right one more if we have the number 5462.3471 and it is asking us to approximate this number to the hundreds position 
first and what I need to do is identify which number I'm approximating which is the hundred position am I going on this side is it going to be tens hundreds and it's going to be the four no on this side we have THS right it should have been sorry, tens hundreds so this is wrong we want hundreds which is going to be on the other side right this side is with THS we don't want that so we go and we say all right units tens hundreds the number I'm approximating is the four right I take a look at the number that follows that's a six if, if it is greater or equals to five you add one to that number so it is greater than five so we're going to say plus one so we, we will say all right that's going to be plus one all the other numbers that follow or once you have figured out whether you add one or add zero the all the other numbers will become zero so bring down that one that's a zero bring down the seven that's a zero bring down the four that's a zero bring down the three that's a zero bring down your decimal point bring down the two that's a zero six bring it down that's a zero all the numbers that follow will become zero then four plus one that gives me five and then bring down the five right so my answer is approximately five thousand five hundred I hope you like this video if you have any question please ask send me an email like the video and su subscribe to it right